Marie and I'm here to talk to you about our current litter problem. Did you know that 8 million tonnes of rubbish ends up in our oceans every year? That's a crazy amount of litter. You see, this is not acceptable. Not only is this becoming unacceptable and unrealistic, but this is a massive waste of resources. Did you know that over 20% of what's in our garbage bins can actually be put in our recycling bins? That's a change that we need to make. But there is progress being made in the world. On average, in New South Wales, the amount of rubbish that each family contributes each year is going down, along with the amount of waste that each person disposes of. This is good change, but we still have a long way to go. One way would be improving our knowledge of what we can and can't recycle, and what would be better just being reused at home. We interviewed people on what they thought could and can't be recycled, and we were quite pleasantly surprised at what we found. Can you tell me what colour the recycling bin is? Oh, it's red, mate. Oh, <laughs> it's yellow. It's green, mate. No, it's red. I'm sorry. <laughs> green. Green. Yellow. Can you name five things you can recycle? Cardboard, paper, plastic bottles, um, cans. And oh. you're wearing one of them. Paper, cardboard, plastic bottles. Oh yeah, yeah, paper. Do you recycle everything you can? Yeah, I sure do. I'm so environmentally friendly. Yep, as much as I possibly can. No. Do you think you can improve on the amount of stuff you recycle? <clears throat> I mean, I guess. At first, if you research recycling, it can seem overwhelmingly complicated. But if you break it down, it is easy to do in your everyday life. For starters, steel and aluminium. You should recycle your cans, kids. Did you know that Australians use over 3 billion cans each year? Last but not least is paper and cardboard. Did you know that in Australian houses and businesses, we use millions of tons of paper each year? That's a crazy amount. Each ton of recycled paper can save 13 trees. Now, let's do the math. Let's say on average we use 1.5 million tons of paper each year. If we manage to recycle just 50% of this, we would save 9,750,000 trees a year. So this is slightly off topic, but our new printers, right? So we know a lot of you are pretty unhappy about the new feature where it default prints double-sided. But you shouldn't be, because it's actually helping us sustain our environment. Say you have to print 10 pages worth of something. 10 pages? Well, 10 pages. I don't know what. Maybe it's one of those assessments where you have to have 500 words, but you can only come up with 200, so you... Maybe you just play with the margins, make the words bigger, it's none of my business, okay? But think about it, if you print it double-sided, then you're using five pieces of paper rather than ten. Using less paper means less trees get cut down, which means more oxygen. And I'm pretty sure all you kids out there, and adults, and old people watching this video, like breathing. So, maybe take that into consideration. Next is plastic. Wasted plastic contaminates our ocean and kills millions of marine animals. Did you know that it is estimated that each year more than a million seabirds and 100,000 mammals die because of our plastic waste? Also, the energy saved by recycling just one plastic drink bottle can power a computer for 25 minutes. Just one bottle, people. When you see an old plastic bottle just lying around, try to remember to put it in the recycling bin. That's 25 extra minutes of computer time, people. So remember, put plastic in the recycling bin, not the waste bin. We hope that you enjoyed this video. Remember, recycling saves energy, wildlife, and the environment.